Hi Libra, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new, I hope you come back. If you've been here before, thanks so much for your support. You're the reason why I do these, um, because you find them helpful. And um, I appreciate your liking my videos, sharing them with your friends, subscribing to them. It's so wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is your love reading for October 2nd through November 2nd. And this is for singles and couples. And this is for anyone who is a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So I'm sorry you had to wait a little while for these. Um, I do them in the order of whomever had the most views last time. Because I noticed a trend that whichever videos were getting the most views were the ones where people needed the most guidance. Like they were going through the toughest time. And therefore I put those ones out first um, because that sign is in more desperate need. So uh, you are second to last this time, which is maybe a good thing though for you. <laughs> Little tranquility finally because you had a couple rough months. But we'll just get started right away. What is it that single Libras need to know for October 2nd through November 2nd? Oh, things just aren't going fair. They don't seem fair right now. Life doesn't seem fair, um, especially in regards to the past. So like with past lovers that maybe are still in your life, maybe you have kids with them, um, they're not treating you fairly, taking advantage of your time, of your money, of anything like that. So, you know, thinking about the past and thinking about the injustices of it, which is really hard for a Libra because Libras are all about things being equal and fair and balanced and trying to see both sides of a situation, you know, and um, giving people the benefit of the doubt. And this is just creating instability right now within your life. Um, what else for single Libras? We have a challenge here. And the challenge is to speak your truth and say the things that are on your mind, um, even though they might hurt other people. Because it's for the highest good. It's just like doing the right thing, saying the right thing, thinking things through in this time when things are um, seemingly unfair. And you know, it's more about you though. It's taking care of you. It's not being a martyr. It's not, um, it's about standing up for yourself and what's right for you, despite how other people feel, especially like a past person. You know what I mean? They're not um, in your life in the same way anymore. And that's for a reason, okay? So you take care of you. That's your challenge right now in regards to love. What else for single Libras for this month? Um, you might not, okay, so if you're dating other people, sex might not be fantastic. Um, and that might be a reason why you might not want to date them anymore. But more than that, it's not fantastic because there's not like that deep connective bond. They're not your soulmate. You, like when you're with the right person, even if like they don't have the physical skills to make it amazing, it feels amazing anyway because of that deep emotional connection. So it doesn't mean um, you can't have that sort of fun, but it just means maybe this month is not the month where that happens. This month is more about um, working out a balance between, you know, work and dating and fun and um, kind of achieving balance and harmony and happiness within your everyday life. That whole work-life balance type of thing, that's where your focus needs to be and less, less on love this month, unfortunately. Um, it's because some of you have not entirely, maybe you're in this in-between. There's a lot of signs this month that are um, in between. They're not necessarily coupled. They're not necessarily single. They're just somewhere in the middle. And some of you haven't left um, relationships that you need to, like you know that you need to and that the change is coming, but you haven't quite gotten there. And it could be fi for financial reasons. It could be for a lot of different reasons. But um, it's kind of an abusive relationship for some of you, codependent, manipulative, um, where you're taken advantage of, or you are like emotionally abused, verbally abused, even physically for some of you. So it's like you know, but you haven't quite done it yet, okay? Um, so what is our guidance? Like what is going to put us on the best path this month? And before I even finish that sentence, I love this. This one just jumped right out. Your angels are like, here's your deal. This is what you need to do. This is the wish card. It's make your wishes. Get clear on what it is that you would love to have in your life, what it is that would make you happy, and focus your thoughts on that. 
Um, because you can manifest whatever you want in your life. You just have to stay focused on it. You can't be afraid that it's not going to happen. You need to put your thoughts and your full belief that it will, that your dreams will come true because this month, that's what you have. So if you want to bring somebody new into your life that has specific qualities, write them down because everything that we think, everything that we say, um, is like a wish that goes out into the universe per the law of attraction. So you can bring that in this month. Your wishes will come true. But if your um, subconscious wishes are, you know, negative terms or if you're like, if you keep saying, gosh, it's so great to be alone, you're going to have more aloneness this month. So if you actually do want someone in your life, imagine what they're like. Not how they physically look, um, but more like the qualities that they have so that the right person can walk through the door for you. Um, what else do we have? What else is it that single Libras can do this month in their love life? Whoa. So some indecision is happening right now. And um, as I said that, I saw both the Wish card and that Six of Cups card. So indecision about the past and what you want. So get clear on that if you can. How do you get clear? Rest. You need more sleep. It'll just come to you if you get more rest, if you get more sleep. Your brain isn't going to work properly if you're not sleeping enough. Okay, so what, is, well, what else was it that uh, Libras could do? Sorry, we went off on a tangent there. Um... It's saying there's not much that you can do if you're going to stay stuck for the time being. You can't bring in newness if you haven't left the old behind, okay? So I guess what some of you are going to need to do is totally walk away. Um, but if you're already single, you have to like leave your thoughts about that person behind, all of your resentment, all of that stuff. Um, some of you don't want to have to be the one to make a decision. It's like you'd almost rather push them away and have them be the person who says, okay, it's over, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, and a lot of you, you're staying in relationships. I know this this is for the singles, but some of you are in between, that you're not really in a relationship, but you sort of are. You keep that connection because of your fear of financial security and your fear of like stability in the day-to-day -day life. Like They're somehow still a part of your life, probably because of kids or something. Like You see them as a helpful resource. Even though there's resources and other people who are more helpful and beneficial to you, but it just seems like they're supposed to be there. Um, but they are creating a lot of unhappiness. And your world is not like totally complete when they're there, um, kind of distracting you from the things that you want to do and achieve and, you know, the kind of person that you want to be with in the future. So it's saying, you know, get real with yourself about that. Um, have the conversations, draw the lines in the sand with these people. Um and then look out into the future and just say, I know that something good is coming for me. And really believe that and be like happy that it's coming because then you're going to manifest that faster. Um, it says like the more that you think about your unhappiness and the lack, the more unhappiness you're going to experience, you know, and that all comes back to that wish card. So whether you're single, coupled, or in between, we really, really, really need to focus in on what it is that we do want this month. You have the wish card, so it's all about your wishes coming true. It's like your manifestation is almost instant, so be careful what you're thinking, and next, and definitely, definitely get more sleep. Um, now, as I was saying that, we had a number message that just came up, and it's an eight, and eights are all about your financial security and, like, endless loops of financial flow and money abundance. So uh, I do want to say, like, don't stress about your bills because then you're just going to add more stress to your life about your bills. Just be like, you know what? It feels good to pay my bills. It feels good when I get a paycheck and things like that so that maybe money will just show up in random other ways. You know, perhaps you'll get a check from the um, electricity company that's saying, hey, you accidentally overpaid or there was an error. Things like that can happen. Um, okay, now for those of you who are coupled Libras, what do we have this month? October 2nd through November 2nd temptation, but you're strong enough to resist it. <laughs> um, and the reason why you're strong enough to resist this is just because that's your nature. You're a loyal person because you don't like to do things that are unfair to other people. You like things to be balanced, the give and the take. Um, if things have recently become unbalanced, it does seem a little bit more appealing, but um, ultimately... 
you know, I don't think that you'll give in to that. Um, even if you're not with your soulmate, even if you're not feeling particularly bonded with the person that you're currently with. Now, what else for coupled Libras? Um, a lot of confidence though. So maybe this person comes into your life just to like boost your self-esteem to say, you know what? I am still desirable. Like every year I get a little older, but I also get wiser and I'm like, why? And I get sexier as time goes on. Like I am an appealing person and that's really wonderful. Your cards just flying all over the place. Um, we have so many, you know what? Happy birthday. Maybe this is why we have so many Libra cards. I don't know if you keep seeing the scales like I do in all of these cards. Um, there's scales, scales, scales. So, you know, happy birthday. Um, but so much about finally coming into this place of balance in your life, in your relationships, and um, offers of love coming towards you, but not really knowing if they're good, if they're worthwhile. Um so for those of you who are coupled, I don't see you leaving even if your environment is bad. Um, not this month anyway. And it's but also like not really trying to make it work. It's like trying to make a logical plan, trying to figure out what's fair for everybody, for all parties involved. Um, because you're afraid of instability and you're afraid to do something new at this point in time. Like, you're afraid to follow through with your ideas, um, afraid that maybe you don't have the support system available that you need to make the change uh, that is necessary. But, you know, not really communicating about things from a heart center. Like, if you're trying to escape a relationship, if you're thinking about it, you're not really talking in love terms, you're talking more in logic. Like, how are we going to do this? Um, but it's just so much fear about the finance part of it. Um, and But what it's saying is that you have to get over that because you can't really heal from whatever traumas, whatever things you've experienced within this um, coupleship, within your partnership, within your marriage or whatever until, you're, until you've actually left. It's very hard to heal from it while you're still in that environment. But for the rest of you who are Libras who are happy, because this is a very specific message for a lot of you in between. It's very strange. Um, for those of you who are happy, things uh, in the day-to-day -day might not feel real good. Um, maybe there are changes in income, changes in work, things like that. Um, and not really any new creative ideas on how to remedy it. But all of the information that you need regarding that and your relationship are coming from the divine. You are super attuned um, to receiving messages this month if you're open to that. So make sure that you're paying attention to signs. Animals that you see, um, numbers that repeat, songs that get stuck in your head over and over. Pay a lot of attention this month if you can because your spirit guides, your angels, God, Allah, they're all talking to you this month. And it's saying, you know, within the context of your relationship, if you're not one of those trying to escape, it says that things are just going to be happy this month. So wonderful. That, um, even better than you had hoped for within your relationship. Just like the emotional flow is wonderful and it's balanced and it's great, it's perfect and your self-esteem is really good. It's like your partner is flattering you, building you up all the time. Just a really great month for those of you who are happily in a coupled relationship. Anything else that coupled Libras need to know? Um... It just seems like this month is so much focused on money, the home, work, more so than your partner. But that's okay because this month things are really great with your partner anyway, you know? So, um, it's a little bit boring, but no news is good news, right? <laughs> Sorry, it was boring for the couple of Libras, but, but that's really good. You need a time of peace and tranquility because maybe the last few months haven't really been so for you. So... If you'd like a personal reading, um, that's the best way to get the most accurate type of um, type of guidance, you know, for your specific situation. Since this is for about fifteen hundred people or so, um, 
and I'd be happy to do that for you. Or uh, we do more videos than just the love reading and the general readings twice a month here on YouTube if you go over to the Patreon site. And then there's also stuff on Snapchat, Instagram if you're interested. If not, that's okay too. I will see you here next time for the general readings or um, the daily ones. So love and light. Mwah.